Yo, what's good, man? We in the building. What's good, man? It's your boy Cash, Cash Money Drinks Podcast. We here. We ain't going nowhere. Today's, man, listen, it's been a crazy, 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 crazy week. And the reason why it's been a crazy, crazy week, because the divorce rate, it keep going up. Celebrities are throwing shots left and right. Women want their equality. They want their equal rights. Um, they have too many options. A lot of women have a lot of options today. At 25, 24, 23, you can accomplish so much as a woman than a man, right? So, and what happens is you go for that top tier man. You go for that tier man, that man that you think is going to get you to the promised land. You're going to have that Beyonce and Jay-Z relationship. And shout out to everybody right now who's responding. Listen, we hear you. Like and subscribe, follow us on every platform. Um, we do respond to the messages. The website's up. You guys, um, if you go to the blog, you will see events. Uh, Travis Scott events, it just happened. So everything is crazy right now. Go to the blog. There's always a, a event popping up. We also have all the clips, the videos that you can get exclusively on the cashmoneydreams.com website, okay? But getting back to the point, um, women are in a position in this world in 2023 where they're feeling like they're entitled. They feel like they're as, as equal as Beyonce or Rihanna, and they can have the same options as a, um, what's her name again? Uh, I mean, uh, it, it's, 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 I think his name is uh, Harvey. His daughter name is... Um, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Yeah, he's uh, having an interesting year this year. Yeah. But his daughter... Uh, Lori Harvey. Correct. Stepdaughter, I think. Stepdaughter. Correct. And um, when you have these options, right, and you're beautiful because she's a nine or she's a 10, whatever you want to put her in, but I guarantee you she's a nine from head to toe. And like I said, future, I know why you did what you did. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> I know why you did what you did. But when a woman is in a position like she is where she's pushing a Lamborghini every day, She's going to a $2.35 million mansion every day. She has a different process of how she operates. You women who go to work, your nurses, your doctors, um, your assistants, you work at Victoria's Secret, you women don't have the same prospects as she does. You don't sit in the same room as she does. So what makes you think you're equal to this woman? But in the video we're going to be talking about today, I think we're going to be getting into about the response of young Jeezy uh, when he sat down uh, with, uh, I think he had an interview. Nia Long. Nia Long. Yeah, they had like a one-on-one -on -one interview. I guess she does interviews now. I don't know. i never seen that She's before. She's in that Oprah. He's got a new album uh, coming out. So that's, I think, the main reason for it. And just a little bit of background. I think it was like an hour-long interview about his life story. But yeah. interesting part of the interview that's been going viral for a couple of days um, has to do with, you know, infidelity. Let's get into the video. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So Jeezy sat down for a candid hour-long conversation with Nia Long to promote his new double album, I Might Forgive But I Don't Forget, in an interview published on Tuesday, November 7th. After Nia listed the reasons she believes men cheat, Jeezy appeared to do a little dirty macking by emphasizing how real men don't step out on their partner, which could be a dig at Nia's now ex. <laughs> some chick that's willing to like make you feel like uh, a king because right. that's why most men cheat most men cheat because that's, the that's a fascinating to me it's so gross it's so stupid i uh, personally this is my quote and real yeah. niggas don't cheat you don't think so hell no i kind of understand what they you mean not. when you say that they do not i understand what you because mean it's, when you it's say something that. in us yeah that makes us want not to be cow. right right yes. across the board while Jeezy might have just been referencing the title of one of the songs on his new album, his comments set social media on fire with jokes at the expense of Nia Long's ex. Email about to fight Jeezy, the one cow. person wrote, while someone else said, a master's degree in dirty Maconomics. Another person wrote, Jeezy was the dirtiest Mac in that Nia Long interview. However, Jeezy outside now, Nia outside, and you don't get to shoot that particular shot every day. So I get it. Another comment. Let's pause that real quick. Um, I think there's just a little bit left on this video. Uh, we'll finish up in a minute. But basically, he's saying you're not supposed to cheat if you're real. Um, he's fascinated that most men cheat. Um, but do you agree this? He's His reason for it was men, there's something in us that makes us want to be right. 
as if he's trying to say, you chose the right partner. Cheating means you're going and searching for other partners, and you don't. You must be wrong if you're still doing that. You must have picked the wrong person. And he's saying that's that's his supporting it. How's he supporting it? The There's something in men that want to be right, and that's why you shouldn't cheat if you're right. Young Jeezy is probably the best or one of the best top five or top seven rappers from the South, period. His success, we don't even have to speak on what he has done in his career as an artist. Um, the man sat down and done shit with the biggest talents in hip hop. But two things y'all need to understand is, um, how do you, I, I can't really say her name right. Nia Long, yeah, she's been an actress for a long time. She's I know pretty who she popular. Is. I know who she is. I don't know her personally, but who's looking for you, Nia Long? Who, who, who's it, some people are implying at the end of this video that Young Jeezy's looking for her by saying Jeezy it. don't want you. He's trying to pick her up by Listen, telling her you're not supposed to cheat. She said, "Man, because her because her husband cheated on her." She that's said, why. "Man, well, he, she wasn't married, so that's 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 not factual. She wasn't married." Well. So the she had, guy she was in a committed relationship with her cheated well, on guess her, what? and then he got fired for it. And, and guess now what? He's on a new team. Now he's on a new crib, new new team. Houston, I Houston, think is where, he's now. where all the strippers are, and he's getting more money than ever. So who took the L? Right? Who took the L? What man truly looking for you? You're forty some seven years old. I don't know how old she is. Look her up. How old is she? She's older. Yeah, I mean she. I what man look looking up, for? She's you. older for sure. What man looking for you? And Jeezy has to understand that man cheat. Come on, bro. You in the hip hop world. You cheated on mostly every female you've been with. Stop acting yeah. like men men don't cheat. The problem is Stop the cap. men cheat and we don't have an emotional connection to the women we, we cheat on. Women cheat because they've been conquered. Period. Once a woman opens her legs to another man, you lose her. Emotional damage. It's just a fact. And if she's having sex with multiple partners where she doesn't have an emotional connection, She's for the streets. She belongs to the streets. Men with value cheat. Do all men cheat? No, they don't. But I, I think it's funny that we're still missing a part that what Jeezy said in the interview, I'm still shocked that he was molested by a woman and nobody's talking about that. Bruh. That's yeah, it's not, I guess, people rather talk about this. The, yeah, of course they want to talk about the woman and the man when it comes to cheating, but we're not talking about where it started from. But let me tell you something real quick. I, I think the interview was very interesting. I, I, I'm looking at, is this dude trying to, <laughs> is he trying to throw a shot at her? Is he trying to make it, is he's being, is, is he playing a game with her? That's what they're saying. Cause, cause he wasn't being serious. Hell no, he's not being His serious. His reason for it, I don't know if you agree with this. He's saying if a man cheats, it's not just to get a nut. He's trying to say if a man cheats, it means he hasn't chose the right partner yet, so he's still exploring options. Stop the cap. And a real man wants to be right, so he wouldn't do that because it, it, it validates him picking the right, young, making the right young, choice. Listen, Young Jesus is a king in his own kingdom. He does what he likes. He's rich as fuck. He can do whatever he wants, but he's wrong. He's completely wrong, period. So it's not cheating is not about making sure you're right or wrong. No. It's got nothing to do with that. According to him, it does. Having sex to a man is like pissing. It's that simple. Opening your legs and, and getting ready to prepare yourself to lay down with a man, it takes a lot for a man to get you ready. Some women just can't lay down and have sex. You have to have some type of uh, connection. You have to have some type of touch and feeling. You got to get her started, right? If a woman can just easily lay her stuff down on her backside and you can easily just have sex with her, she has a high body count, period. She belongs to the streets. And she belongs to the streets and the streets will take her back every day of the week. Young Jeezy has to understand, you're going after women that has titles and they're entitled and they want to be in control of the steering wheel. You're not going to find a woman with the same income like you and you're going to control her. Unless she gives up that power. You don't need it, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Stop getting married. Stop focusing on the wrong women. You know what I mean? Is there more into this video? Let's take a look and see. Let's see what else there is real quick. Because I'm, 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 I'm interested to hear, since we got like two minutes left on this subject, I want to hear more a little bit. 
been kept private, Jeezy explained in a recent statement that he still has love and respect for ex Jeannie Mai. The decision to end this chapter in my life was not made impulsively and comes with a heavy heart. Despite this, my love and respect for Jeannie remains and the time we spend together holds a cherished place in my heart. Our beautiful daughter is the best gift from our relationship and I am committed to assuring she feels the love and stability she deserves. During this period, I kindly request that you respect our family's privacy as we focus on healing. In 2021, Jeezy and Mai jumped the broom in a backyard ceremony at their Georgia home. The following Beautiful year, the pair baby. welcomed a daughter, Monaco. However, this past September, Jeezy shocked fans when he filed for a divorce after two and a half years of marriage. As for Nia, she called off her years-long engagement in 2022 after 13 years together when the How Celtics head she? coach had an improper, intimate, and consensual relationship with a female member of the team staff. In August, she filed for custody of their 12-year-old son, Kez. Ime has since moved on to become the head coach of the Houston Rockets. A win. All right, let's pause that right there. So basically all it's talking about is their relationship history. Nia Long is 53 years old now. <laughs> um, young Jeezy, I would guess, is much younger. Maybe not by much, though, actually. I should just say younger. Let me see. Young Jeezy's 46. That's seven years. So he's seven years younger than her. Um, but... It didn't work out for either of them. So according to Jeezy, he never cheated on his wife. I, I, Obviously, that's I, not the reason I, I, for their I, split. Well, it's a lot of rumors. Who knows? I'm not aiming. She my, moving the family. First of all, it's a lot of rumors. It ain't my personal business. For it seemed like his wife cheated on him. Some, some, some for some reason or something like that. But the point, of what it is, is very simple. Um, she's she's 53 years old, right? Yeah. Your time's up. It's over for you. The only thing you're gonna find as a man is the guys who are going to not take you seriously, who have money almost like you, right? The guys you're going to have to look for are the guys who's less than you, and you're not going to accept that. It's that simple. And Jeezy needs to understand that, bro, if you're taking your shot at her, you're wasting your time. Why are y'all men keep simping for the wrong women? There's a 25-year-old every fucking day in America. Why are y'all keep going after these old women Another one. who have all these daddy issues? Stop dating the women with daddy issues. She belongs to the street. And, and then you men get mad when you, when you lose. When she's a porn star. Or when she was a stripper. Or when she has a high body count. You get mad because she played you. Emotional, damn it. I, I think the interview was, it, 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 it touched on a couple of different things. I was confused through the whole interview. I think Young Jeezy is a king. He operates as a king, but he's wrong. Men cheat and men cheat. Not only because they, they can, they cheat because it doesn't mean nothing to them. When a woman cheats, it means everything. She's not happy or satisfied with the men completely. Yeah, so when a woman cheats, she's looking for another option. Of course she is. When a man cheats, he's not saying, I picked the wrong one and let me find the I'll right one. I'll be home for dinner. So that's where he's, he disagrees. Men cheat, they'll be home. They can go out and sleep with a woman and come home. They don't, it's, it's like a dog. We don't Yeah, have, they're not looking for come the on, right we're not, option. We're not, we're not trying to move on. If you're, if you're a peace of mind, you taking care of home, you're doing everything that um, a woman should, a man eventually going to look at you as the prize. These women at 53, 52, 65, single as fuck, thinking they're special. You had your shot in your 20s and your 30s. She was, she was big in the, in the 90s. What happened? What happened with you? You can't sit here be at 53 and your man cheating on you with a white woman and you get mad about it. He's winning. He went to Houston. His money's bigger than yours. His bank account bigger than yours. Of course she's going to take custody of the child. She wants the fucking money. Just like Tyrese woman. They want the check. Now, am I'm, I think Neil, uh, I can't even say her name right. Neil Long. Neil Long is still a beautiful woman. Okay? She's still is wanted on the market by certain men. But there's men out here that she goes for that's never going to give her the entitlement that she thinks she deserves. It's, it's just unfortunate. But I think it also proves the point that men, when they do cheat, they're not looking for another option because her ex, who cheated on her and got fired for it, he's not with that woman he cheated with. No, So he wasn't looking for another option because then he would have been with yeah. her, right? See, that, those women were side chicks. And, and the funny thing about it is, supposedly, the woman he cheated on with, I mean, how can I say this? The woman he cheated with is, is, is connected to, I think, the finance VP 
or something of the ownership. Yeah, he wasn't of the looking team. for the right option. It was just a fling. Yeah, it's all it is, man. Flings should not end the structure of of a marriage or a relationship. Men cheat, move on. I I don't understand why you women and and Jesus to sit there and and play a game. Stop baiting these women. Stop lying to these women. You are fake news. Stop stop being fake and and telling women what they want to hear. This is when you could tell a man is a simp. Is when he tells a woman what she wants to hear. If, if I was on the show, I would have told her all men cheat. Period. Only the weaker sex don't cheat. And is there a man who's in a position of power, successful, have a perfect wife, and he doesn't cheat? Yes, David Beckham. But there's a few men like David Beckham. But mostly men cheat, especially if I'm sitting on 50 million, 20 million. I'm sitting on $3 million. You're not going to tell me I'm going home to you. I just, I don't understand why men settle for this kind of fuckery when they deal with women. It's, it's, and if you want to have the power in, uh, like a man, then it, it, it comes down to, hey, you're going to be single. You're not going to be in a relationship thinking you can control the steering wheel. So anyway, let's get into the next video. Yeah, let's move on from this. Um, next topic we got is from a couple well-known people in the YouTube world. Uh, we got... Candace Owens uh, had an interview not too long ago with Andrew Tate. And um, let's take a look and see what this clip is about, what they talked about in that interview. Okay. So I'll ask the question, what do you think men want in women? I think that the masculine realm that we operate in is based on respect. I think that men are constantly looking for a way to be respected. I think the world is hyper competitive and we're constantly always looking for status amongst our peers. This is why you will see a man give up his basically entire life to do something which will only gain him respect, even in a very small sphere. So if I had to build the ideal woman who could get any man on earth, what she would have to do is understand that I need to give my man as much status and as much respect as possible. I, by extension of him, being next to him, need to make him look respected. But the hidden actual message behind all of it is that men are constantly looking for status and respect. And a woman who makes her man feel respected, not only from her, but from his peers, is the kind of woman a man's never going to want to lose. All right, let's pause that right there. So. Basically, the question was, what kind of a woman does a man look for? And he said it comes down to two things. Uh, respect, a woman that will treat him with respect and uh, treat him like he has that respect and status, not only in the home when they're alone, but right. also in public or around his peers. Because he's saying that's basically what a man, the whole goal of a man is throughout life is to, to search for status and respect. <laughs> Amongst the home and public, do we agree? Uh, do we agree that a man would never leave a woman as long as she did that thing? Yeah, hundred percent. I think I think a women don't understand is uh, men look for a certain status. We always looking for respect from our peers, from our friends, from our family, and and the reason why is because Andrew Take is right. If if there if there was a perfect world, a woman should be trying to position her husband into a position of power. Why wouldn't you not want your husband to be into the government? Why wouldn't you want your husband to be a president? The whole point, the, the whole point is status. The bigger he is, the bigger you are. It's not the bigger you are, the bigger he is. The second you become big, he loses all the status. This is why it's not successful. Um, Probably for Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. And I mean, they haven't. They're, they're not. They're still together. I think no, she's on her they, third they, pregnancy no, no, now. No, no, I, I, like I said in our last show, I want them to work and be together. I, I'm just telling you, this is the main reason why relationships crash. It's because the power. It, it, who has the power? Oh, so you're saying eventually they might not last, and f that would be the reason why. Correct. Stop the cap. And and they would say it's capping, but it's not capping because a, a woman who's in power, you know this, right? I mean, it, eventually it does not work for the men, right? So how do you make a man and secure a relationship? You talk good about your man. When you're around your homegirls and they shitting on their husbands, you speak good about your husband or your boyfriend or the guy you into. Don't talk negative things. Why are you putting negative information 
in front of your peers and your friends. Ain't nobody got time for that. They shouldn't know shit about it. If you guys have an argument, you should never tell your homegirl. If you guys have an argument, you should never tell your mother. It's none of their business because they're going to use that against you one day. They're going to build up that animosity and that ammo to, sh- to, to, to basically throw shots at you. And, and they're going to make you insecure of the situation and make you walk away from a guy that is good for you. Like Michael B. Jordan. Right? So a woman, if you get a guy who has some type of security and position, you must sit there and, and, and listen, I understand. Some women, bro, they just do not want to, how can I say this? They don't want to make their man feel special because they want to be the special one. All women, all women are special. Once you commit to a relationship, you become special. But it's the man who is special. If a man's providing, if he's going out every day and fighting wars, is he giving you security, a roof over your head? Your belly is fed. You get to travel. How the fuck are you special? When he's, gotcha, bitch. When he's doing all the work. It makes no sense. You can't go into a position where you think that a man's not going to cheat and he's not going to have options, especially if he's doing everything. Now, if you guys have an agreement where it's 50-50 in the relationship, then it can work. But I would tell men, when you get into a relationship with a woman, you must vet her. You must vet this woman completely. Why are you guys getting married when you don't even know a woman for five years? Yeah, they're doing it backwards. They, they're they getting married first and then figuring each other out. And then... It don't work. That's why it doesn't work. It's, it's, it's simple. Denied. And it's all about entertainment. entertainment. That's, that's all it is. It's entertainment. entertainment. It don't work. It's never going to work. We are a society where our government has failed us. The government has fucked us. Divorce rate is at its highest. I had a conversation with a girl earlier today and I was talking to her she a friend of mine and you know we had a discussion and I'm I'm happy when I see my my people black women I love black women I think they're beautiful I also like other, 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 other how can I say this I like other different types of women some some guys do only date black women I'm not a guy who just saying I'm sticking with one flavor I don't I don't see race it's funny people where I mean always in the comments always throwing the black card or throwing race into these these issues. And the, and the problem is, is listen, if you don't take care of a man when he's in front of you and show you your true value, that you are a good assistant, you bring peace of mind, it's not going to work. Denied. I understand you have your own ambition. And let me tell you something. Let me correct myself. Larsity Pimpin, um, I'm going to tell you something real quick. Um, because this, this matter, because what Andrew takes talking about matters. If a man, to the streets. if if you loyal to a man for twenty years, this is for Larcity Pimpin. I'm saying her name right. Larsa Pimpin. Larson Pimpin. Yeah. Stop the cap. They're gonna say I'm capping, but I'm not. If a man gives you a lifestyle for twenty years and you commit to him for twenty years, supposedly she was giving her body three, four times a day to this man for twenty years. Stop the cap. And she put all her dreams to the side for this man. She stopped college and everything. If you this woman out here like this, and then when he retires, you go to him and you knock at his door and and you tell him, hey, I gave you 20 years. It's time for you to invest into me. And the guy tells you no. Yeah, you divorce him. You leave that relationship. Because if a woman's making sacrifices and a man's not willing to make sacrifices for you, then you got to walk away. But it's your choice of how you walk away, and it's your choice of who you fuck with after the fact of this man. You can't be 47 years old, 45 years old at the time, going down trying to date 27, 30-year-old women. I mean, men. This just doesn't make sense. But the point of it is, is I get it, ladies. I understand when you commit to a man for 10 years, 15 years, and he's still selfish. If he's selfish and he's not trying to help you elevate, then yeah, you got to walk away from that relationship. No, no woman should stay in an abusive relationship. No woman should stay in a, 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 a relationship with a man who's uh, uh, manipulating, who's a womanizer. 
at the Cash Money Dream Podcast, we we tell women all the time, if, if you're in a violent situation with a man, walk away, period. But loyalty at the highest level for a woman, if you gave loyalty to a man completely and he stopped providing or he stopped helping you on your dreams, then you have to make a decision. I, I understand that. But what... I think just to, in Scotty's defense, maybe... I don't know if this is what happened, but one of the things that she pursued and did um, after that was OnlyFans. She's an OnlyFans model. So I wonder if that's one of the things he denied and said, no, I'm not helping, you do, not helping you do OnlyFans. Well, I don't think, I don't, I, my personal opinion, and this is my opinion, I don't think she started with OnlyFans. A lot of women use that as a second option because they have to live in a lifestyle and get the money they need. These women literally go on OnlyFans and become millionaires within six Six months to a year. It's unbelievable. Not all of them, but uh, 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 even if it's three percent, just the just the ones with fame going in. If uh, they already have fame going in, it's it's game over. They're gonna by, make millions. But listen, by her already, I'm, I'm glad you said that. Right, I mean, and, and emotional. Damn it! I, I'm glad you said that. And the reason why I'm glad you said that is because that's automatically disqualifies you. Period. You are disqualified. Denied. The second you created an OnlyFans and you already a multi-millionaire, why you need to do that? You're putting yourself out there sexually, right? Men do not respect women. This is what Andrew takes talking about. It's the respect. We value that so much. And when a woman respects her boyfriend or her husband and she puts him out in front of the world as he's the best option, People sit there and they try to destroy it. Can you imagine you telling your homegirls, he's a real good guy. Girl, something wrong with him. You should check more into that. You stupid. Why are your friends telling you what to do in your relationships? Why is your mother telling you what to do in your relationship? Stop taking bad advice. You should be uppering your man, not knocking him down. These people want you to knock your man. Society wants you to knock your man. They don't want your man to be successful. They don't. They, they want us to be in the high divorce rate. And for black people, we have one of the highest rates in, in broken families. I am tired. I'm getting fucking tired seeing black couples go through this shit and being destroyed in the media and being laughed upon. Celebrity you, news. What are y'all doing? Be private. Stop putting this shit out there. If y'all, if y'all go through a breakup or the divorce, people shouldn't know until two years later. Two years later, they should find out. But we got about another minute on this subject. I, I would just tell you guys this. It's very simple. Women, if you got a guy and you got a good catch, he's good to you, he treats you nice, he's sweet, and, and, and he got his money shit together, do everything to make him feel good. Make him happy. Cook and clean. Whatever he likes, go to him and say, what can I do to make your life better and easier? Eventually, you become the prize. He will see that you are a good woman. He will see the values that he can see that she will be a good mother. The problem with a lot of men is they don't vet these women. They go straight because they got an ass or they, the sex is good. They go off of the sexual emotion instead of looking at like Tyrese did. You can't, or, or, or like Michael B. Jordan did. You, you can't be top tier good men and expect these women. They think they're special. They think they're better than you. They come in entitled, and they think they deserve all of that before even earning it. Daddy issues. Daddy issues. Mother issues. These women literally think they're better than you. Not all women. I'm not taking a shot at all women. There's good women out here. Black, white, Asians, all colors. Korean, Spanish, all of them. There's good women. Men must vet a woman. This is why I say you must make sure you put a woman on a, 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 a plan for five, six, seven years. See if she changed. Trust me, the demon comes out eventually. You can't, you can't get her and now she's married. And she's like, oh, I'm not doing shit. I, I'm stopping it. But all I'm going to say is before I end this video right here is that I think men should, should vet a woman and women should, should put their men first. That's all Andrew Tate is saying. Put your man first. Show him as if he's a king and people will respect him. And with that respect, you're going to get everything that you're seeking for. If you put the man in front, everything that you want in life will happen for you. 
stop being selfish and thinking you're special. Treat your man as if he's a king and then you will get the kingdom. But let's move on to the next video. Listen, guys, like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. We here. The Cash Money Dream Podcast, man. We not going nowhere. And listen, YouTube is becoming difficult. Platforms are becoming difficult. They're doing everything to stop our success to give you information. They, they call them ghosting, where they prevent people from seeing what we're pushing out. This is why we have a website, the cashmoneydreams.com website. You can go to our clips. You can see our information. You can see our, our events. We have an event popping off all over the country every week. Uh, like I said, you guys just missed the Travis Scott event in Vegas. But listen, every week we're putting out a new event. Every week we got a new guest. And every week we got a new episode popping out. But, hey, Ramin, what is the next video? Yeah, let's move on. So um, next video we got here is... Um, a woman who has something interesting to say. She has an inter interesting perspective. Um, let's just let's just go right into it. Let's take a look and and see what this video is about, and then we'll get you. And real reaction. quick, shout out to all the creators, man. I respect all you guys on YouTube. Like some of the shit you guys come up with, I I just want to tip my head off to you guys because I'm busy. I'm I'm doing so much shit. And shout out to Ramin and my team at the Cash Money Dreams podcast. It it is very difficult to do this shit. And YouTubers know it's difficult to edit, market, promote, fly in, fly out, Miami, Vegas, back and forth, Arizona. We in and out. Of, listen, I appreciate all the work everybody put in, and I, I appreciate all the uh, all the YouTubers or anybody out there putting out this information. Let's get into it. All right, here we go with the next video. Polygamy, right? Mm-hmm. Do you want multiple wives because you want to have the variety of what multiple women bring? Or are you thinking about building a village, building an empire? I need I need specific women in my life to help me mm -hmm. build this this thing that I have in my head. Like, I'm Why not build. just have one? Well, um, for me, it's just one I'm going to do. Oh. I have a really bad uh, And I have, to, I have to feed that. Yeah. And, um, At least it's honest. Yeah. I mean, you just have to be honest. Yeah. Some people kind of like straddle the fence, like, uh, I'm, I could do monogamy, but deep down inside, they really just wanted to have multiple. And, you know, and then sometimes it's hard for them to tell their women, if you're already in a relationship, you can't even, you're stuck. You know what I'm so you can't just tell your woman, like, hey. All right. So we'll pause that right there. Basically, they're talking about uh, monogamy versus polygamy. So she's just asking him why he wants a variety of women. Is it just because he likes variety and he just wants to try a different flavor every week or day? Or is he trying to build a kingdom or something like that with multiple people? I think it's a good question. I it think, looks like he's, his answer was both, kind of. Yeah. I, I Entertainment. I think it's entertainment, and I think it's funny because she asks a good question, but let's be honest. She don't give a fuck. She wants a man for herself. That's Let's be honest. All you women want man for yourself. You truly think you're special that you can conquer a man and make him be submissive only to you. It just is this hilarious. They don't want to share. It, 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 it's hilarious that women truly believe they have that power. And it, 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 it just proves the weaker sex. The man is a weak person. He's weak. He's a, he's a simp. He is a beta male. He's he, he, he's exact. When a man tells you what you want to hear, he's a weak man. I'm going to say this again. When a man tells you what. um, How can I say this again? When a man tells you what you want to hear. He's a weak man. Period. Men don't have to lie to you at all. But they lie because that's the only way they can have sex. And it's unfortunate. And and for me, yeah. I, I, I would say this, because this is a very good subject. A man should have multiple options when it comes to dating and multiple options when it comes to building a family. As long as he's in a position of power, if he's a peasant or if he's a servant, he doesn't deserve that. Denied. Why is it in, in the world we live in, everybody feels like everybody's equal? We're not equal. We're not special. Everybody has to work to get to the top of the mountain. If a man works 10 years to get there, who are you to come in his life, in his relationships, and tell him what he should and should not You're do? stupid. Who the fuck are you? Where are you coming from? The problem is a lot of women, not all women, they take a man's statue 
his success, they look at his resources, and they just move in. And they don't understand the work and the grind. Trust me, a trust fund baby is weak compared to a man who goes in the mud and go get it. Somebody who gives somebody $10 million or a million dollars, you don't respect them. That's why these women lose them and treat them like shit. And these men sit around, <laughs> and this is what they do. Because they didn't build the statue in the kingdom. They wasn't in the mud like some of these men out there. These are the men y'all fucking with. These are y'all baby daddies. They're crying. They mad at the world. How do you respect this? How do you respect a man like this? Listen to this shit. Beta male. I was watching a, a, a podcast, Ramin, mean, I'll tell you something real quick. The woman, they, they had five women and five men, right? And what they did was on purposely, they took five emotional men. And all these men are considered chads. So they not only did they trick the women, they, they went and got guys who were 6'7", 6'5", 6 6 6 And these guys had good careers, but they was all simps, weak. And they asked this one topic. Um, would you accept a man that cries? And then they asked each man when it was the last time they cried. Each man basically said within 10 days. None of the women picked them. None of the women picked them. Because women don't want men that are weak or show emotion. They say they want it, but do they really, really want it, Rami? What happened to equal, equality and equal rights? Well, if women can cry. Why can't men? Well, because society, it, it shows that if you cry, you're a weaker sex. And women won't. It's DNA. It's programmed. Well, women, it shows that whole campaign is bullshit is what it shows. Exactly. I would just tell you that if a man builds his status up to a certain kingdom, he deserves to have whatever options he wants. And if a woman feels like she can do it too, cool. But you're going to be single. You can't, you can't move like a man. We are not the same. We're not, we're not equal. None of us is special. You can't come into a man's life and thinking you can control his bank account. <laughs> Are you kidding Denied. me? Denied. You can't come into the relationship telling this man what condo or what suite or what hotel he should be in. You stupid. You can't come into a man's life when this guy actually set up reservations and you sit there and change the reservations because you feel like you deserve to eat at a five, six star restaurant. Bruh. Who the fuck are you? What's up, bitch? You can't come into a man's life and you don't even show up on time. You are always 15, 20 minutes late. Who, Stop it. Get some help. Who the fuck are you? Entitled. Right? You can't sit there and go to a dinner with a man and invite five and six of your busted ass broke. They are good looking. I'll give you that. But they are broke and disgusting. And hope that he pays their tab. And when, the one. And when he don't pay the tab, they all look at you and you all get up and walk out. Embarrassing. Ain't nobody got time for that. Like, who the fuck are you women that feels like you special and you that entitled? See, but what you're doing is there's a lot of women out there that's not like that. And I would tell a man, you must find that woman. You must, you must, you must search the earth because you ain't going to find it in the, in, in, in the West. Trust me, American women, it's not changing them. They, they, they don't even believe in 50-50 no more. They don't. They don't believe in 50-50 no more. A woman goes into a relationship thinking a man should cover 100% all the problems. And Bruh. she shouldn't have to cook or clean. You stupid. Right? She chews when she has sex with you. Right? You come home and the house is dirty. The motherfucking chick don't even do laundry. Everything she cooks is in the microwave. How the fuck did you commit to this woman? Men must stop committing to these type of women and women must stop committed to idiots. Stop committing to the weaker sex. It starts with both of us. It's not just men or women. It starts with both of us. If y'all really want to be successful in relationships, y'all must look at the people like LeBron James and his wife. 
Y'all must look at like David Beckham and his wife. Y'all must look at like J- De- Derek Jeter and his wife. Like these women, can uh, real quick because we have four minutes left. Can you please um bring up Derek Jeter's wife, Vanessa Bryant's wife, um um David Beckham's wife, and uh LeBron James' wife? And I'm gonna tell you something. These four women are unbelievable women, and also. Gucci man's wife. All these women, all these women should be celebrated because they stood with their husbands through the mud. Even Beyonce deserves to be up on there. Even Michelle Obama, as much as I, I listen, I'm not a politic guy. I don't care for them in the politic world, but I do respect my black people to get there and sit at a chair and do something and accomplish something. But there's a lot of hate when it comes to the, that, that, that family in America, right? Because we are divided as a nation when it comes to Republicans and Democrats. For some reason, we at war. All this shit going on in the world right now, and a lot of people are hurting. But if you guys truly want to have a successful relationship, you must be like these women, right? So you think if, if the man in this video found a woman like one of these five or six here, um, he wouldn't mind just having one. He wouldn't need a handful or however many his goal was to go with. I think over time, when a man finds a woman like these women, all these men cheated, but one man, I believe. I think that's um, um, David Beckham. Yeah, he, I mean, there was rumors, but... But, I mean, that's the only confirmed. guy That's the only guy who denies it. All the other guys have admitted on cheating, right? They have. And their wives never left them. But these women are in position of power because they supported their husband. You're not the prize when you come into the relationship and I make $100 million a year. You fucking lost your mind. You're not the surprise. You're not the prize when I come, you come in a relationship and I make six figures. If you're making 50K or even the amount of money I make, you're still not the prize. You have to put your man in the position where he's a king so you can guarantee your future. The world's not led by women. It's led by men. Why do y'all not understand that? Stop listening to the world telling you that women need to be in power. We are, are fake news. We are destroying the world every day that we put this bullshit poison out because people are eating it up and they believe it. They believe they're entitled. They believe they're special. They believe they can go into a relationship and tell a man, I'm no longer paying bills. I'm no longer paying rent. I'm no longer taking care of nothing in the household. And I, I, I tell the man, why do you think she, she says that? TikTok, Instagram. Yeah, I Facebook. Mean, you, when you when you have when you're one of these women and you have your DMs full of Beta Bear. about a thousand of them sending you messages each day, <laughs> how would you react, bro? The women, this is what they do. I'm gonna tell you guys, I I Loser. I have females in my circle, and I literally have their passwords to go into their social media, and I'm telling you, it is disgusting what men tell women and what they will do. These men will try to do anything to get in your pants. And some of you women fall for it. You're 22, 23 years old, and you responded to a DM, and six months later, you're pregnant, and now you by yourself. How do you feel now? The guy flew you out just to pipe you down and sent you home pregnant, and now he doesn't even want to take care of you or claim the baby. Social media has destroyed the way we date, period. Women have too many options, and they're winning. They're taking advantage of it. These women literally can post my nails are not finished and some idiot would go out and send money to get their nails done. Beta bear. Well, short term, short term, they're winning. Long term, no. 10, 20, 30 years from now. Exactly. They're going to look back and say, shit. Yeah. Now what? Yeah. Nobody's Sh- sending money to 60 year olds. Or 100%. 100%. Short time winning, long time is a L because what you're doing is you're wasting your golden years on a whole bunch of simps. That's only using you for the validation of sex. That's all they want. That's all they want to do is lay down with you. Because guess what? You know I'm right. You know why you know I'm right? Because once they have sex with you for for a short part, a part of a week, two weeks, six months, they leave you. They stop entertaining you. They go in treating you like a queen and then they stop it. They stop the process. Why? Because they realize they realize you're not worth it. They realize you're not the one. They realize. It was just sex. 
That's it. You know what I mean? But let's get into the next video. Um, I would just say a man who has multiple women is not really a negative if he's building a kingdom. If a guy just want to have sex with a whole bunch of random women, those are the guys you got to stay away from. When a guy is building his legacy, his kingdom, position yourself so you can sit in a position of power. There's nothing wrong with that. Period. All right. Moving on. Um, let's get into this uh, final topic of the day here. A uh, woman has a pretty strong opinion on how things are going in modern times uh, versus the past. And uh, let's just let's just play the video and take a look and see what she has to say. And then we'll get your reaction to it. I'm sorry, but whatever woman back in whenever the fuck was like, women should be able to go to work and this and this and that. <laughs> fuck you. I would love to be at home right now, probably with my mom, because I'm not married yet. So with my mom, playing with the goats, in the backyard, gardening, cooking, baking, trying new recipes. But no, I have to go to work and be stressed. And then on top of that, if I want to have a kid in the future, which I'm planning on it, I have to go to work and be stressed and be pregnant? Who, who thought this was a good idea for women? Dumb. Stupid. Yeah. Nice. So just to pause that right there. Yeah. It looks like she doesn't like how things are working in modern times with uh, all the equality and, and, you know, how things are going. She says she'd rather have it, you know, where she doesn't have to work, where she could just worry about making a house a home and worry about raising children. And then the man of the house has to deal with all that other stuff where right now. You have to do it all. You got to be a man and a woman. And uh, when you have to juggle so much, you kind of fail at everything. You can only do, you know, so much at a time. How do we feel about that? You think women now, after all these uh, protests and all these changes and all these push for strong independence and all this, nope. you think they have it harder now? You think they're fucking themselves? <laughs> or uh, you think this is, a, this is a W for women? She thinks it's an L. <laughs> Denied. Listen, I'm going to get into this conversation real quick, I mean, um, Once again, guys, like and subscribe, follow us on every platform. <laughs> we here, man. We ain't going nowhere. It's your boy Cash, cashmoneydreams.com. Listen, go to our website. Make sure you guys go to the blog. There's an event every week. Make sure you guys go to our clips. Our website is up. We put it out on TikTok. We put it out on everything. So a lot of new information is coming soon, okay? But real quick. Entertainment. Let me get that buzzer again. No. The world's changed, bro. It will never go back. for, And it's going to take a lot because the problem is this. As much as these women say they want to be housewives, they still want to have their cake and eat it too. So you think she's full of shit, kind of. She's saying she doesn't like how she has to work and do all this stuff. I but she kind of does want to have her independence, which it takes it, working to get that independence. I, I Listen, I wouldn't say she's bullshitting because I'm not here to shit on this woman. I'm not here to shit on any woman. But I will tell you this right now. You have to give up power. You have to be submissive. I didn't hear her say one thing about being submissive. So, yeah. If you're going into a relationship with a man and you're telling a man that, you don't want to work and you want to stay home and, 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 and take care of a home. What are you going to do at home? Yeah, she basically shouldn't. Have. She says she wanted to be in the backyard with her mom and the Playing goats. Playing with a fucking goat. She wanted to she wanted That's go. not how you build kingdoms. You want to sit around and have recess. I think it's because she's single right now. She, now I mean, she's single she's for a reason. Someone. She's a good looking woman. She's not an ugly woman. She's kind of attractive. And I'm not, I mean, I'm not even saying dissing her kind of attractive. Let me, let me recorrect myself. She's an attractive woman and she's single. Why are you attractive and single? You must be in your, she has to be in her late 20s or mid 30s. And she's talking as if she's special. You want to stay home? Cool. But what are you going to bring to the table for you to stay home for me to give you that lifestyle? What are you doing for me? And she's telling women, and, I, and I'm, not, I'm not knocking her. She's telling women, what is wrong with you women talking about you want to work, 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 work? Because women think, they can do what Rihanna does. The women think they can be a uh, uh, Lori Harvey. The yeah. Women think that they can be the next Rihanna. Society, Disney, everything, all the shit that they push out is for women to be empowered. 
They saying women are special. Go to Victoria's Secret. Everything they 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 listen. Malls, everything, fashion, stupid. everything, makeup, everything is push for a woman to be number one. Right? You cannot go into a relationship thinking you're number one and thinking you're gonna get the special treatment. You're not Queen Elizabeth. You're not. Denied. You don't come from a bloodline of royalty. Most of y'all are peasants and servants. Y'all work at strip clubs. Y'all work at Chanel. Y'all work at Gucci. Y'all insurance brokers. Y'all nurses. Y'all teachers. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! You can't come in a situation where you're making 50 or 60K a year and thinking you're going to get treated like Beyonce. Beyonce put in the work. Rihanna put in the work. Even Lori Harvey, she put in the work. She has to, even though her status is declining because the next man she choose is going to be determined where her career is going to end or start. She took too many L's. But if y'all women truly want to stay home, then you must be submissive. You have to give up a power. And a lot of women don't want to give up that power. They want the cake and eat it too. Now, is it just women? No, men are selfish just like women. Men are, 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 are how can I say this? They make bad decisions just like women. They don't vet women correctly. They lie to women. Listen, women, they lying to you. These men are playing a game with you. They're tricking Stop you. Stop the cap. They're Houdinis. Walking around with a wand, acting like they're Harry Potter. They think they're Harry Potter. They think they can go around and throw magic tricks. You're not Harry Potter, bro. And this is not no fucking book or a fantasy. So they beta males. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to say it again. They're going to tell you what you want to hear so they can control the situation. And once you get into that relationship with them, they change. They don't buy you flowers no more. All these girls on Instagram posting all the flowers that we know you buying for your sub. These niggas ain't buying you flowers. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. And if they are, cool. But what is the intention? What is his intention to buy you flowers? Because once you give him the pussy and it's two weeks in or three months in, where's the flowers? I talk to women, and there's some women I talk to, gorgeous, and they ain't never had a man buy them flowers, ever. Why? Men are betas. They lie and manipulate to get what they need to get, and then they leave you in the dust. Are all men like this? No. But they have to be because the second you are born, you are wanted. When you turn 16, if you fat and ugly and disgusted, there's some losers still will date you. If a man's 16, fat, and disgusted, no woman will want him. That is the issue. Denied. I had this conversation with my friend earlier. She was, she was talking about, because she's a very beautiful woman. She, and I, and we, we had this conversation. I was trying to explain to her why the man and the woman is different. Because she kept arguing with me. But when I was done, she finally listened. And she actually agreed, even though she was combative through the whole fucking argument. At 16, 17, 18, 21, 25, 30, you women are wanted. A man must build his status. He must build his status. He must build his respect. He must build his kingdom. He must build his brand. And then he gets all the treasure if he knows how to handle it. Because you can still be a bimbo and a dummy in a Lamborghini. You stupid. Because you push a Lamborghini don't mean you're getting women. Because the second you open your mouth, the women already know you the weaker sex. Women look for strength. They look for power. They look for consistency. They look for strength. They look for a man that's hungry. They look for a man that has hustle. They look for a man with ambition. If you're not getting these guys that check these lists, then you need to stop opening your legs. And then when you open your legs and you get Mr. Uh, uh, shithead, you're mad. You're upset. Gotcha. You in danger. Right? You're putting yourself in a position where you in danger. Oh, he put his hands on you now. He's aggressive. You already knew this, but you thought you can change him. You, 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 all y'all, y'all thought y'all can change this man. You thought you can make this man settle into a, 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 a man that you desire and you won't. Don't work that way, shorty. The world doesn't work that way. We, we are not built to follow your fucking lead. We are built. Stop it. Get some help. We are made for you to follow our lead. 
The world is run by men. And women are our counsel. Period. I'm not here to shit on women, but women are our counsel. They sit at our tables and give us good ideas so we can make the right advice. But the final decision becomes for the men. So if a woman's going into a relationship and she's saying, hey, I want to be a housewife. That's a conversation you got to have on day one. The first date you sit down with her. What are you in? What, what's your intentions? What are you trying to accomplish? She should tell you, I don't ever want to work. I want to be taken care of and I want to be treated like Beyonce. And what do you say? Denied. Get the fuck you out of here. fake news. I'm not doing that. These women go into relationship and some of them celebrities. They're multimillionaires. They still think a man should cut the check. She got more money than this dude and she still think the man should cut the check. It's investing to each other. You both have to make each other the prize. This is why Andrew Take was saying, you can't go into a relationship where you are thinking it's all about you and being selfish and you putting your man in the background. Stop putting your husband and your boyfriends in the background. When your girls are chilling around, they should know that's the prize. When you sitting down with your homegirls, my husband, my boyfriend is the prize. We're going to do big things. We're going to take over the world. Y'all motherfuckers are not Bonnie and Clyde. That's the fucking problem. Y'all need to be Bonnie and Clyde. Willing to do whatever it takes and die together. Romeo and Juliet. See, but the books lie to you. They give you all these fantasy thoughts, but nobody actually played the part. Y'all fake actors. I think the problem is that uh, they want to be treated as traditional women, but they're not traditional women. Because traditionally, True. that's how it always used to be. The True. man would take care of everything. The woman would stay home. But You're stupid. you want equality now. But you also want to be taken care of. So which is it? I mean, you pick a side. You can't have everything. I, I, I agree. You got to pick a side. You want equality? You want equal rights? Then be, be equal. equal. Then be equal. Go to war like we do. Clean shit toilets like we do. Build buildings like we do. Go in the sewers and get rid of rats like we do. Y'all want to be equal? Then it's 50-50. I truly don't believe a man should pay 50-50. I think it should be 70-30, period. That's my opinion. A woman should bring something to the table to cover some type of debt with that man. And if a man's well off, now listen, if I got $100 million, no, I'm not going to make you pay bills, but you're going to do something in my life that's going to help me you be successful. You must be a traditional woman. Yes, 100%. To catch a guy who 100%. makes $100 million. Or even a guy who makes a million dollars a year. You got to do something in the position to help that guy keep going to the top. Why do y'all think you can just attach your name to a man's success and, and live off his, 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 everything he reaped and sold, everything he reaped and sold that you think you can just suck him dry? That's why I tell all men you should never get a married. You shouldn't. Man, bro, marriage is the worst thing. It's like marrying the devil. Why are you getting married? It's like ma marrying Satan. Is that serious? Because the woman's always winning. When a man gets married, the woman wins. At the end, the woman's going to win. Some men can get off, but majority of them, they do, they do just don't. But listen, guys, at the end of the day, because the show's winding down, I would just say, listen, we need each other. Men need women, women need men. But we must have some type of contract that we agree and we live up to it. Right? If you want to be a, a, a housewife, cool. But you must do other things to make it successful. And that's it, man. Listen, it's your boy Cash, Cash Money Dreams. We here, man. I ain't going nowhere. The West Side's up. Like I said, Travis Scott event just passed. The blog's up. Every time you go on the blog, you will see a new event. You got the clips. I, I, I appreciate all the people behind the, the scenes um, for everything they do with us on the Cash Money Dreams uh, podcast. Listen. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. We here, man. We not going nowhere. It's your boy Cash. Take care. Thank you for watching the Cash Money Dreams podcast. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. Stay tuned. Every week we drop in a new episode. It's your boy Cash, man.